Welcome back. It is this portion of the acrylic crazy train wreck. How fun is that theme? It just blows my mind. Too much fun. What was even more fun was having uh, the wonderful Sarah Mack join us. My cat again, sorry. Uh, Sarah Mack joined us this week on the Acrylic Crazy Train and we could not be more grateful. Sarah, thank you for uh, having a great sense of humor about this and joining in. I know everybody enjoyed seeing you. I always enjoy seeing you. Um, so thank you for that, I appreciate it. And just giving you some forewarning, my cat is up here. There's a lazy Susan here that part of my camera and light is on and she's having a ball kind of messing with it. So if I suddenly go like this, it's her. So we have a couple things to um, go over real quick. Thank you, first of all, thank you to everyone that participated um, in last week's drawing, or actually this week's drawing, for oops, this piece. It's a 16 by 20. It really wants its forever home. It's sad being here. It needs to be out there in the world. So um, I wrote down everybody's name. We're going to go through it real quick and then draw and see who this little thing goes to. Um, I have Cy Frost. I have Danielle. Two entries for Danielle Boatsman. I don't even know if I should take the time to fold these. I have Heather Gordon. One time, two times. I have the lovely Joyous Bean, Georgian. She's going in once. I have four entries for Miss Deconstructed Bloom herself. Let's see if I can get it up there. Karen Dorishan. I also have four entries for the Swiping Queen, Kathleen Osmore. Let me get those in there. Um, next is Tina Wheaton. I have two entries. Now, Leslie Onstead actually had 10 entries, but she said, don't you dare do that. Um, so I told her I'm putting her in for at least one. So there's Leslie. Sheldon Briscoe, my brother from another mother, had four entries. There's his name. So I'm putting those in real quick. Um, my lovely sister, admin, Bridget Martella. Thank you so much, Bridget. I'm sorry I missed you last week. She has two entries. Uh, Danielle Nadon is in for one. Anna Roberts is in for four. So let me get those. There's Anna. Oh, fold it. Fold it, Britta. Fold it, Britta. Actually, Anna is in for five, I think. She added another one at the end of the uh, video last week. Kathleen McGee is in for four entries. And let's see. Carla, did I show Kathleen's name? There's Kathleen's name. Carla Koyak is in for two entries. So if that did not take up enough time, I don't know what did. Okay. They're all in there. We're gonna shake them up. And good luck. Who's it going to? Who's it going to? Who's it going to? It's going to. I don't have my um, glasses on. Heather Gordon. Heather, you won. Congratulations. This piece is going home to you forever. Yay. Thank you for participating. Thank you again to everybody that participated. And um, it's just exciting. I think this is so exciting. So I did a poll on my community page here on my YouTube channel and asking what people thought about the giveaways and what they wanted to see. So the first, the two top vote getters were pieces that I make as well as art supplies. So I thought, okay, so this week you're going to, um, we're gonna be doing a drawing next week for some art supplies. And this is what I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send two um, 10 by 10 canvases. You need something to paint on. Something else to paint on is 
this cute little wooden box. I'm gonna send a um, jar of Deco Art satin enamel. If you wanna play with pearls, it's very important to use. And I'm gonna send you a sample bottle of Vivid Polypore. You can use this as your pouring medium for your blooms. And I'm gonna send a bottle of Prism Pour. This is Forbidden Ruin. And you can see the color. It's part of the Ancient Metals collection. Um, this is Solar Flare, which is really bright gold. It is also Prism Pour. And then I will send um, one of the primary elements. It's called Tropical Splash. Primary elements. And that is the color, and it is so pretty. It would look gorgeous in a beach swipe. So that is the package for this week. Um, rules are the same. Uh, if you want to send me a super sticker or a donation through PayPal, that would be great. Help me cover shipping. Um, and I will send this cute little basket to the winner when we draw them next week. Anyway, on with the show. Thank you for joining us on this acrylic crazy train wreck. I hope you're having fun and I will see you here in just a bit. Happy Sunday, fun day, everybody. I want to thank you for being here. This has been an epic acrylic crazy train wreck of proportions. That's all I can say. Cyfrost started us out with his Joy of Pouring show, followed by the famous hands with no face, Darren Nixon with Venom Fluid Art. He was followed by Christy Conley with Creations by Christy, Sheldon Briscoe with Shell Rock Art, and then we had our special guest artist, uh, Sarah Mack, Smack Bean, joined us. And then following me today will be Lance Travis with Pouring Together with Lance Travis. Now, in honor of Sarah's being here this week, I wanted to uh, try one of her techniques. I haven't done this in a while. And she has um, a great affinity for dustpan pours, except she uses like a shovel that's the size of Texas. Um, I haven't gotten that big yet. One of these days I will, but uh, I wanted to try it. They're a lot of fun and this is my interpretation of wrecking a ring pour. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll pop back in here in just a minute. I do want to point out here that you generally do a dustpan pour on top of a base coat. Um, unfortunately, I filled that thing so full that I didn't have time to get the base coat down. And as it turns out, I have enough paint in the dustpan uh, to do what I need to do with it. But I wanted to make that point that generally you do have a base coat down uh, when you do these types of pours.
Now, as soon as I poured that background color down, I did not like it, but I thought, let me get it all around and try it out, see what I think, and I, it just was not happening. So uh, I took two of the blues that I used in this piece and mixed them together, thinned them out, and uh, that is what I am using here. Now this is a great trick that we forget about so many times. If there's a part of your piece that you don't like, Create some negative space with a different color and use your paint as an eraser. I used, uh, I learned that tip from Kathleen Osmore a long time ago. Um, it works great. And as you can see here in this piece, it definitely gave it the pop that it needed. Um, so I'm really, really glad I listened to my, my gut feeling, my intuition, and changed that out because man, did it make a difference.
And here she is, dried, varnished, framed, up on the wall. She dried absolutely perfect. Um, those cells are just crazy. I love those in this piece. Who doesn't love some jelly beans, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. You make it all worthwhile. And don't go anywhere. The best is yet to come. We've got Lance Travis with Pouring Together with Lance Travis next. <laughs>